Today, I want to talk to you about kings who take. And I'm going to read to you from 1 Samuel chapter 8, verses 15, 16, and 17. Here's the prophet Samuel speaking to the nation of Israel about the king that they wanted. Here we go, verse 15. He will take a tenth of your grain and your vintage and give it to his officers and servants. And he will take your male servants, your female servants, and your finest young men and your donkeys and put them to his work. He will take a tenth of your sheep, and you will be his servants. Israel demanded that God give them a king. It was their way of rejecting God's leadership and wanting to be like the surrounding nations, which all had human kings. Samuel the prophet knew that this was wrong. Perhaps he thought that God shouldn't give Israel what they asked for. Yet God knew that in this case... It would be better for Israel to learn something from their mistakes, and their mistake was demanding a man to be king over them. So God told Samuel to warn Israel what would happen with a human king. God wanted Israel to know that there would be problems connected with having a king. In Israel's view, they had problems that would be solved by having a king. While those problems may have been solved, God wanted them to know that a king would also bring other problems. <laughs> they should carefully weigh the benefits against the problems. In describing the cost of a human king, Samuel repeated the phrase, He will take six times. In this, the Lord gave Israel fair warning. Hey, most kings are takers, not givers, and they come to be served, not to serve. If Israel wanted a king, they must realize that he would be a taker, not a giver, and they will be his servants. Kings come among men, and they come to be served, not to serve. Now, thankfully, not every king is a taking king. The king of kings, Jesus the Messiah, he is a giving king. Jesus said this of himself, The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. That's Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Friends, it's true. If you want a taking king, look to the rulers of this world. But if you want a giving king, look to Jesus. Pray especially that leaders among God's people would have the heart of the giving king and not the taking king. May God instill this in each one of us, and may he do it today.